Hey, bright and beautiful. One of the biggest challenges of our modern world is that we are so heavily engrossed in the entrapment of material illusion. This delusional state unfortunately causes so many to become lost in selfishness and ego. It's a big issue in the world today because so many are focused on their own wants and needs that they lose sight on what matters even more, the connection that we share with everything and everyone. Yet a remarkable truth that today has been established by the field of quantum mechanics is that at the fundamental levels of reality, everything exists together as a dynamic interconnected wholeness. There is only unity and that the sense of individuality and separateness that we experience is purely illusion. We might think of reality then as a holographic matrix, just like going to see a movie in a theater. While watching a movie, we see the pictures and the stories and we become lost in what is happening. Yet, if we were to turn our heads around, we would see all of the images are actually emerging from a singular beam of light. Reality is like that too. From a singular unity comes forth the illusion of our material existence, which is like a multidimensional movie or game in which we ourselves are the main characters of our lives. But consider, a person by themselves floating in a void for 90 years is not a story. It's the interconnection we have with each other which gives our lives meaning. Now, Merkaba is an ancient term for a field of light that is created around the body, which is why it's also sometimes called a light body. As we also know scientifically today, the physical body has several layers of electromagnetic fields, including the massive toroidal field emanating from our heart. A Merkaba is a consciously created field, which one may center themselves in, in order to become more stable and harmonious within their experience of reality. If we could say that God is the beam of light and our reality is the movie on the screen, in this metaphor, the Merkaba would be like the lens which the light passes through, bringing clarity to the image. Taking time to meditate within one's Merkaba every day brings clarity to the experiences that we have, which otherwise might be blurry. And from such clarity comes both peace and resolution to our daily challenges by virtue of the ascension of our consciousness. The Merkaba is a dynamic geometric form, but it's directly related to the full spectrum of human experience, including thought, breath, intention, intuition, feeling, and all aspects of our body of consciousness. Primarily, the DNA of the Merkabic field, which exists both within and around our bodies, can be observed in union with the 13 chakra system. In linking the 13 chakras to virtues, we are able to create fixed points within us to orient the Merkabic field within our consciousness. By focusing on these 13 virtues and affirming them to ourselves, we naturally create this field within us, which then also projects around us. In resonating and feeling these qualities and surrendering to the power of their ideal within, we naturally raise ourselves to embody them, activating our Merkaba. And so here are the 13 virtues. Please feel free to get into a comfortable seated position and take a few deep breaths to get the most out of this experience. Truth. Knowing that there is a higher truth than our individual subjective truths allows us to transcend dualistic perspectives, reconcile paradox, and step into unity consciousness. When the light of truth shines upon our minds, the complicated things in life become simpler and we settle into natural ways of life. Love. True love is not only perceiving that all things are one, but behaving with this connectedness in heart and mind. In perceiving the dynamic relationship between all things, we let go of our selfishness and act for the good of all. Authenticity. To be our most authentic self is to be genuine in our way of life and not simply do what others may have said we ought to be doing, which brings freedom. Authenticity is knowing ourselves well enough and overcoming the limited egoic patterns of thinking that may have been established from our youth. Gratitude. This is a feeling and showing of reciprocity for what we have in life. It is in feeling gratitude that we realize that which has meaning to us and life becomes more enriching naturally. Faith. 
Everything in the material reality is subject to change, but underlying the material form is the soul, which is eternal and always perfect. Walking in faith is a trust in that eternal presence within, which frees us from the trappings of material attachment. Kindness. Kindness is a necessity for a good life with others. When we show kindness, we nourish the whole field of reality. And much like watering a garden, that which is nourished thrives, bringing good fruit. Peace. When we cultivate a depth of peace within, we become unshakable no matter what happens to us. And that peacefulness can be shared with others who may be anxious, calming everyone down. A true enlightened master could go to jail or find themselves homeless and never lose their peace. One of the greatest masters in history was crucified and still his peace never wavered. Wisdom. Wisdom is said to have been the instrument by which God created the whole universe. And for us can be understood as knowledge and experience applied properly through action and word. Simply reading many books or having gray hairs does not make one wise, but instead it comes through the union of intuition, experience and knowledge demonstrated effectively. Harmony. Defined as a combination of tones pleasing to the ear, harmony is the result of when the various aspects of our lives are put together in a way that is pleasing. And this includes our actions, words, thoughts, and relationships with others, nature, our work, and so on. If one were to have a healthy effect on everyone they meet and their environment, they would be an example of living in harmony. Grace, a term describing God's unmerited favor, love or help, but also means virtue and even beauty of form or movement. To walk with grace is both to be graceful, bringing virtue into our lives and allowing the divine mind to bring its support to us and work through us naturally. Forgiveness, a very important quality which allows us to become soft when we might otherwise harden our hearts against others or even ourselves. With forgiveness, we understand the real reason why things happened instead of harboring resentment, which makes it possible for us to move on and grow. Discipline, a double-edged sword. We either discipline ourselves or we are disciplined by the forces of life. It is through discipline that we become strong, tempered against the challenges that the world throws at us, whether from other people or even nature itself. If we allow ourselves to become lazy and do not practice any self-discipline, life becomes much harder. Humility. When we make ourselves humble and come in service to humanity instead of for our own glory and greatness, we actually find ourselves elevated. This is why it feels good to do good things for other people. Humility allows us to set aside our ego and receive greater truth than we could perceive before. By going through these 13 virtues, we invite ourselves to step into their resonance and become more righteously attuned to our own inner divinity and perceive the true reality of God beyond the material world. To work with these and strengthen them within us, we recommend using them with the breath of life, which you might recall from another one of our videos on this channel. In addition to this, in just a few days, we're going to be sharing a video produced by our friends at Arcadia, announcing their upcoming revelation retreat, where they'll be revealing to the world the 486 Covenant Merkava, which holds tremendous implications for humanity. And for us today, we can also strengthen our Merkabic resonance by meditating together. When groups of people resonate together, they increase their magnetic quality far more than only meditating solo. If this is something you'd like to be a part of more, we'd like to invite you to join us inside of the Spiritverse community for our new weekly meditations. Every week, members are invited to a live stream event to drop in together and work with these virtues and strengthen our collective resonance. 
Anyone who is called to participate can join us by visiting spiritverse.app or downloading the Spiritverse app for iOS and Android. Looking forward to seeing you there.